Alright, well, let's do some more of this, yeah? Doing more of this picturesque sea kingdom. But the boss is done. That game is gonna definitely, definitely invoke the same feelings that Donkey Kong Country 2 did, so I look forward to looking like an idiot playing that game. Hey, Evie. Thanks for the raid. How's it going? This is how you discovered me way back when. Yeah, I know. Isn't it scary that, isn't it scary that this game is like seven years old? Or is going to be seven years old at the end of this year? Yes, I remember the banana test. During the dark times. But I figured enough time passed now that I can play it again and not remember a lot of it. Yeah. That was when I first moved to the city and the house that I moved to was supposedly gonna be hooked up with okay internet after a few months. And then it never did. I'm pretty sure that house still has that same horrible internet. Ow! Oh. That ball of fire, but yeah, I had the connection I had before I moved to the city, but even better now. It's like a gigabit down, only 50 megabits up, but it's enough for upload. Being able to download like 40 gigs of a game patch and it only takes like 10 minutes is great. Yeah, how are things anyway? They need to come out with a 3D Mario. They're probably saving it for whatever the next console is. I'm surprised this never got DLC. Like, there was always rumors about it, but nothing ever came of it. Hey, there's something here. There we go. Can't stay, it's really late. No, it's alright. I understand. I'm not gonna be up late either. I, I got work tomorrow. Or at least I'm gonna try not to be up late. Yeah, have a good night as well. Thanks for uh, the raid. Crazy to think that was such a long time ago. Okay, what's that covered? I like the music in this kingdom. The music in this kingdom is very relaxing. I mean, it sounds a little like elevator music, but still. actually pretty funny. <laughs> Back then, I think the Twitch chat was like having issues because of how bad my internet connection was. The like, the stream where Evie first watched. On my end, I thought everything was going fine. 
And at some point, I guess my internet went bad enough that it just disconnected from Twitch chat. So there are people typing to me in chat, Evie being one of them, being watching for the first time. And I'm just not responding, so... <laughs> it wasn't until someone messaged me, it was like, Hey, what the hell are you doing? Respond to your chat. I'm like, what? What chat? There's no chat. I refreshed the page and then, lo and behold... Um, I'm surprised anyone put up with me with that bad internet connection, honestly. Where is fish? I need air. There we go. Well, this is much more calming than what I was doing before. Forgetting that this fish has like an attack. <laughs> Is that it? I guess so. I don't think I'll ever be able to go. A connection slower than what I have after what happened that year. <laughs> hey, camera. There we go. There's one under. What are you? Coins or something important? Coins. Talk to you as a fish, go elsewhere. Hang on. <laughs> Greetings, traveler, and to your hat as well. Can you answer my riddle? What is the name of this land? Um, Lake Bublane? Bublane? You're correct. Perhaps that wasn't much of a riddle. Anywho, proceed. Okay, good. To be honest, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the name. I 
saw a moon around here somewhere else. Okay, this might be it. Yep, there it is. You can see it through the crack in the wall. Seaweed, whoops. Oh. Ah! Ambush. Hang on, air, air, air. Swim away, swim away, swim away. Oh, that's not even the middle spot. There we go. Ugh. I need a new fish. Guess there's also this. Why is there no music, by the way? I just noticed that. Or is it very subtle? Okay, it's very subtle. already. Get the fish! There we go. is something. Ah! Okay.
That looks suspicious. Almost looks like an intersection. There's probably a picture somewhere that says where to do this, but I'm just gonna, while I'm here. Okay, capture, capture, capture. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh. Is there any fake wall anywhere else? I'll check the right hand side just in case. Okay, there's nothing. No, this totally makes sense. <laughs> From an underwater place to a place with lava in the sky. Ow. Oh. Okay. I'll be okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> Crap. There's, there's, there's no, there's no recovery. <laughs> Just get, get rid of my health altogether. It was bad. Okay, that'll heal me though. Much better. Just 
gotta swing around and look. Don't go anywhere. Ah, damn. Yep. Not worth the time. because you can't There's a second one here. Doesn't look like it. Alright, out we go. Is uh, my hat gonna follow along. But... <laughs> oh, there we go. This wasn't following me. volleyball thing. I don't remember that being too bad, but maybe I'm not remembering correctly. Haven't I been? Oh, I'm with this. Oh, Scoombas. Oh, the 
does something. Ow. Ah, oh, not this again. Oh, okay. On the control. For some reason, I remember something around here. Maybe I'm not remembering correctly. Hold on. Does it heal? No. I wonder if I this. Okay, that doesn't mean anything. I thought maybe pounding on the uh, the hat would do something. Oh, I was going to carry you up. It wasn't me being a jerk. I promise. Doggo, come here. Show me the way. No, come on. There's more. Show me more treasure. Are you following me now? Show me more treasure. Is there treasure here? Fetch. Last time the dog showed me a moon, so come on, where is it? Oh, hold on. You got something? There we go. Good doggo. to follow along. 
Oh boy, this is... Okay. At least this one tells you the order, it doesn't electrocute you. to talk to the bird. There's probably plenty I can do without trying to find... Oh yeah. Okay, I need to store. See how I go, huh? I don't know what I'm supposed to get to score wise, but I'll do my best. Almost sounds like Donald Duck noises. I didn't think I'd get it on my first attempt, so that's fine. Alright, go. Ooh. Ooh, that was a salvage. Try out the hat every time. scary. How many speed ups have you got on you? going to be a hundred again. Okay. 
Ah, oh, too late. Damn. All right, go again. <laughs> I really don't want to be here that long. At least this one you can start again right away. a bit longer to build up. that it lets it touch the ground. Ah! That wasn't quick enough. But there's ones where I feel like I see it touch the ground and it's still okay. speeding up. Oh. No! Damn it. I'm hoping it's 50, but it's probably going to be 100. 100, if it's 100, it feels longer than the jump rope one.
this can't be as bad as the jump rope one. The RC car one, I think, has been my worst minigame so far. Sorry. Ah, oh, <laughs> that was collateral damage. I mean, what is... I don't think... Like, jumping and spiking it, that's all that does. It doesn't really... If it offers a slowdown, then maybe. Just the way to get coins. I guess it'd be a good way to farm coins. I'm giving the snail a concussion. I think it's more of a liability than anything else. I try to always hot hang around at the middle of the court so then I'm prepared for when he sends it. But I just hadn't repositioned myself there. I love how the speed up here is like the snail has the power to alter gravity. I don't know. It just reminds me of Donald Duck. Oh, that was close. Ah, I missed. Okay. Take out some some rage. Oh, you want to play some volleyball? I'll play some volleyball. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. Doesn't really help you do much better. But that being said, this is a good place to farm coins. It's like an endless supply of coins within the snail. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop. I'm just gonna focus on it. Thinking I can do both. Have to hope that where it's aiming at is is fair. Ooh, that one. Oh, it's a hundred. It's a hundred. Yeah. Oh, I'm taking a break from this. <laughs> I can't. Not right now. I got one of them. We'll come back to it. That one just, it, it ramps up a lot slower. These. Whoops. Not that, not that, not that. Okay. Snail will wake up in a minute. Sorry. the other outfit. I'm probably going to change into the other one anyway immediately. If I can get through that other door. I don't know if I've explored fully here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, this does ring a bell. Uh-huh. That I definitely haven't done. up to the green one. I mean, pink, purple one, green one. Oh. Ah, here we go. Just messed up here. Most definitely. Okay, go do the same one again. That's right. And I got it. Good. Oops. <laughs> Damn it. Never mind, I got it wrong. Fell through. Again. I wonder if there's a second one. Probably not. The top corner just looks to be treasure. Resort hat. Okay, 
And I guess I'll buy this one, so then I know there's 15 left. Okay. Can't for the life of me remember if I got this one over here. Yeah, I didn't. Alright, cool. Turn should be enough sleep. <laughs> How's it going, Nick? Let me in. Oh, you had a dance. Did not find the flying Animal Crossing. I just haven't tried since. I left it at that. I got the turnips rotten, so I'm just I'm gonna leave the garbage where it is, and eventually it'll appear. It's just it's not gonna happen if I try to force it. A hundred volleys. Ugh. No, not yet. I was checking out this game that you might have interested in since you like platformers. But it's like someone's developing a game that's like a love letter to Donkey Kong Country 2. And yeah, it's a demo at the moment, but it was a lot of fun. And it has difficult stages planned. They only showcase one difficult stage once you get everything, but it was fun. It involves a duck and a turtle partnering up. It's called uh, Wind Swept, if you're interested in it. Yeah, I mean, check out the demo. Demo's worth checking out. So it has four easy stages, one stage that would kind of represents late game, and then one stage that I guess is just like, well, if you're skilled with the mechanics, you'll be able to do it. Pretty tricky. But it plays pretty fluidly. And I like the distinction of roles they have between the two characters, which is something that was a bit of a problem in Donkey Kong Country. Like, Dixie Kong was just always better. 
For instance, in here, the duck has certain scenarios where you want to use the duck, and the turtle has certain scenarios where you want to use the turtle because they have unique abilities. I think it's worth playing just to experience the Bramble level, or you can watch me, like, in the VOD, check it out if you don't want to play it, but... The last stage, I didn't even finish it because it was just... It was difficult. <laughs> I wasn't quite good with what they wanted me to do. But it was fun. I can't believe this is a hundred as well. This one definitely should have been 50. This one is much slower paced. Like at least jump rope keeps up a cons consistent pace pretty early. This one takes a while to rev up. Ah! Oh. I missed the throw. be here all night, but I'm not sure what other moons I haven't done here. I'll talk to the bird. There's still 12 coins missing as well. focus for this right now. Everything is under control. This one because you have to move, you're just at the mercy of RNG. I just hope that it doesn't send it too far away. I think this one's harder. I think this one just feels like it takes longer. At least for me. I 
point. Like, at this point in the jump rope, I'd be in the 50s, if not higher. That was only 40. <laughs> it's a bit of a grind. Ah, let's see, that's just a liability. Alright, I just have to be patient. Sorry that that's another one of these streams where I'm doing something that's highly repetitive. As if looking for a fly in Animal Crossing wasn't bad enough. And this one I'm almost positive. There's no... Does anyone play sports? I don't think anyone plays sports games that watches me. Like, that is not on my Venn diagram, I don't think. I guess, to be fair, there's not many volleyball games. It's like... What was the last one? Like, Dead or Alive? That's the only volleyball game I know of. Only SSX. I don't even know what that is! But I guess this is more like a mini game than realistic sports. The... The little remote control car one at least... That was somewhat realistic. Not that realistic, but like, it's not this where the snail controls gravity and makes gravity behave differently. This one is like, you have to focus extra hard because you have to move as well. The jump rope one, at least you kind of get into a rhythm and then you're, you enter this state of like, okay, I'm in the zone. This one, just because the buildup is so slow, it's harder to get to that point. They're all the snowboarding games. Okay, I thought it was the snowboarding series, but I didn't want to say, so I embarrassed myself. Ooh. 
dropping my heart as. Sorry if there's like a lack of commentary. <laughs> What attempt is this? I don't know, like, 10? It goes so slow. It's, I, I don't think there's been that many attempts. It's just this, the build-up for this takes ages. 64! I don't think this one's harder, it's just, it feels more tedious. It's just, it's so slow at the start, compared to Jump Rope. Just do the two-player cheese. Uh, I don't even know what it is. Like, I'd have to watch an explanation of what to do for it. And then I, I would- I wouldn't get my gamer points. Yeah, it, I know. It's kind of excruciatingly slow. This one definitely should have been capped at 50. And just hook up a second controller and do what? Second controller control controls Cappy. I feel like I'd be somehow worse at it because me controlling multiple units, mm, I've, I'm not good at that normally. This is why you never see me play stuff like RTS games on stream. Unless there's something where, you know, it's turn based. That's different. I just about everything, with a few exceptions. <laughs> you move Mario out of the way and only use Cappy. Is it? Would you call me stubborn if, like, I I just there's some something inside of me that says don't do that? Like, there's just something inside of me that says, don't, don't do that. <laughs> Even though I'm sure it helps, I'm sure it'll allow me to do this with ease. But there's just a part of me that's like, nah, don't do that. Can I do something to just at least make this humorous? Give me a sec. I'm gonna do something to at least make this humorous.
because I feel like this is just annoying to watch. So I'm going to make this is for you, the viewer, okay? All right, so I, says this, I said this thing kind of sounds like Donald Duck. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it look like I'm playing volleyball with Donald Duck, all right? So there. Okay, so then when I go back to it, Did it work? did me dirty. Good. That's great. I need the Crash Bandicoot soundtrack. What? Why the Crash Bandicoot soundtrack? I don't associate Beach Volleyball with Crash Bandicoot. Okay, hold on. There's, all right, duck's in position. <laughs> this is a dumb bit, but I don't care. This is not the first one I always try with. No, no, like, I pick music that is is appropriate for what I'm doing, right? So, like, if I'm riding some kind of animal, I'll pick the Crash Bandicoot theme where he's riding a pig. If it's something that involves, like, a lot of obstacles and it's on a time trial, I'll pick the, the slider music from Mario 64. If it's a really, really tough boss, I'll pick the final... The final fight theme to A Link to the Past. You know, where you're fighting Ganon. And those music... Those music tracks just... It's an instinctual thing. It's just like... I take it back to a time period where, like, that would just... Hype me up and... You know, those fights... I get through them. Yeah, like, remember Wind Waker, the old man, how I had to hit him a hundred times or whatever in a row? So I put on the music to... Links a link to the past, the final fight, and then I got the hundred hits without fail. It just put me in a particular mindset. Or like the minecart track in um Twilight Princess, I put the Mario 64 slider music. For this, it's volleyball, so I'm not sure what I would even pick. Ha! Okay, that's good. That's, that's great. I love how it resets the camera as well. Then my joke doesn't even work. Okay, there we go. I mean, come on, does that not sound like Donald Duck? It's excruciatingly slow, I know. 
I know. That's, I think it's just, it's not a difficult one, but it's just one that wears you down much more than the rope does. The rope is frustrating. This one is just boring. <laughs> it really is. Like, I'm not even upset. It's just boring. So at the very least, I put Donald Duck in the middle of the screen, so it's at least amusing. Hopefully it make it made someone at the very least smile that the noises sound like Donald Duck. I spent two hours looking for the fly in Animal Crossing earlier, so, you know, today has been all about the, uh, the grind. <laughs> I didn't even find it. Like, I bought turnips, I made them rot, and still did not find the damn thing. Did I get it? No, I didn't, I didn't find it. After two hours of basically just circling the island and moving them and just... I, I got nothing. Alright. The bit's done. Bye-bye, Donald. Oh, man. So I don't really have any piece of video game music that I feel like would best represent the scenario, like just a very slow <laughs> volleyball thing. I just, I got nothing. Not even like bonus stage music would help here because it just wouldn't fit. And the music for this for this kingdom. As much as I like it, it is a bit like elevator music. Yep. Me Plaza. You know, I don't... Remember the Me Plaza? I never really used that. Would you believe it? I guess because I didn't play games that involved the editing of Mii's, like... I heard games like Tomodachi Life were really good. The classic, the Me Plaza music or Tomodachi Life? The weird thing is I have a copy of that game, but I guess I never really played it. The Wii Plaza, yeah. Same with the, uh, the store music. I don't know, whenever I, I heard... The song Hotline Bling by Drake, it just reminded me of, like, the music to the the Wii store. I think there's even a remix that, like, just mixes those two songs together. Ah! Oh, this is driving me crazy now. It's just so slow. <laughs> it's just so slow, man. Like, this is just... 
I know, I know I'm playing volleyballs with snails and the irony doesn't escape me, but this is just excruciatingly slow at the start. Hey, Lolo, how's it going, man? Yeah, I'm sorry that this is what the stream has become. It's <laughs> just watching this. Oh, man. I have to get this done. At least the jump rope one, you could laugh because the noises I make when I would lose. At least this one, uh, I don't know. You've been kind of pissy all day, but you feel better now laying down. <laughs> Fair enough. The bounce sound isn't locking me. I don't think it is. I've been doing this for like 20 minutes now, so if you like what you're seeing right now, have I got good news for you. <laughs> time it, it takes to get to 30 in this one, you get to the, like 50 or 60 in jump rope. Oh, oh I fucked up. I missed. Uh, uh, is there anything else I can do just in the meantime? Let's talk to the bird. I think I need a little mental break from it. Ocean quiz. Alright, so there's another quiz. <laughs> Under a dangerous ceiling. Okay. I mean, there's still the nuts. I gotta find the other nuts. Let me go for a little flight. And find the nut, at least. I think one of them was even underwater, so I should probably be looking out for that. I just, I, I need a mental break. <laughs> oh, the volleyball thing. Oh, I guess since I'm here, we can do the harder quiz. Okay, how many fountains did the monsters seal for? That's correct, you are a formidable one. When you turn into a red fish, what ability did you get when you shook the controller? Attack. There is a room in this land that can only be entered if you're wearing chosen clothing. What was that clothing? Resort outfit. Did you really know that? This is a normal place to wear a swimsuit, right? And the pirate look is great, even in undies. Wait, that was just a lucky guess, wasn't it? No, I, I, I've been into that room. All right, fine, let's settle this. Last question, Mr. Lucky Guesser. Why am I here? Ask questions. Ah, 
You, this cannot be. You can't possibly have answered all my questions correctly. But I suppose I couldn't stay on top forever. Hold on, take this. I mean, I, I chose to take that question very literally. Why are any of us here? Well, it's not really recommending I do any other ones. There's one that was like crumbling, wasn't it? Like crumbling. I'm not really sure what it would be referring to for that. Did I? Go in this pipe? I feel like I just ignored this pipe. Oh no, no, I've been in here. Okay. Just, just checking. That could be one of those things where like, I say, oh, I'm gonna go there later and just never do. Oh, there's a knot. Yeah, good. That'll... I can let that grow whilst I lose more of my sanity trying to do this. Okay. Now, this might sound weird, but I've never played beach volleyball or been in a scenario where, like, the group of people I'm with are playing it. I don't think I've ever, ever had that. This is like another one of those situations like, oh, I've never slipped on ice, I've never played beach volleyball. Beach volleyball is fun as hell. Yeah, I can't say I've played, like, done beach soccer and beach cricket, which is probably the most common ones I've experienced. But not volleyball. I guess because no one had a net, and... I guess without one, it's kind of, you have to use your imagination. You have to draw a line in the sand, and it's like, well, did it safely go over it, or... It, I don't know. Just, I refuse to resort to the the two-player controller thing. Half an hour passed. This isn't the worst. I think the jump rope thing took about half an hour, if not longer. I did stagger out the attempts with the jump rope thing. I think the the uh, the little racing car thing took a lot longer. A lot, lot longer. <laughs> that was. That was like 40 minutes, if I'm not wrong. And I didn't even get anything for that. Just, oh yeah, you're capable of doing it when you need to do it. When the time comes, you're ready. Oh, 
I also watched, uh, well, the part of the VOD last night with the microphone bit, and man, does an amazing job, like, making sure that it doesn't completely destroy people's ears. Definitely the best upgrade I've done. Gonna be one of those days, huh? I just wanted to go a little bit quicker at the start. Because there's, there's a leaderboard for this. I wonder what the uh, the leaderboard for this is. What the highest score anyone has bothered to do with this. I mean, I guess people would be doing the two-player thing, so... I wonder if they'll ever do, like, a true two-player sandbox Mario game. Because, you know, this is two-player, but the two players in quotes, you know? Like, just being able to have Mario and Luigi run around the world and each character kind of does what they want. But you work together to complete the game. There are mods you can do for other games to um, kind of add that behavior, but it's like very unofficial. It's not by design. Despise the random nature of this. I can't read. I saw a paragraph of text appear. I'm not reading. <laughs> It's not over yet. I don't know what number I'm up to. Ugh, 
Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> get out of here. Don't get. There's some kind of glitch to the leaderboard that says 99999 on it. Some YouTube videos are claiming 2 to 5,000. Okay. Jeez. Fuck that. <laughs> Alright. So worried it wasn't going to work out. That's still growing. All right, I need to go find the other one. Is it bad that you always hope I fail with one left? It's like, it's one of those things where... You're here to be entertained, and that's the sort of thing that would definitely be entertaining to see. I don't think it's that you hate me. At least I hope so. Hope not. <laughs> it's more of you, you've been here long enough that you know what would happen to my mental state if that was to happen. Does it hate if you enjoyed the suffering? Well, it depends what you hate it for. I mean, if, what you enjoy it for. If you enjoy it because, like, you you enjoy it because you don't like me and you want me to suffer, then yeah, that's hate. But if you enjoy it just because you find it amusing, just the noises that I make, then no. One's in the name of content, the other one's in the name of, like, just hatred. It just please you. Yeah, that's just wanting to be entertained by just how much I devolve. for this final seed. There's also seven more coins left. I'm just glad that's over. The other clue it gave was like... Schadenfrauder, yeah. That German word that means like... taking pleasure from someone else's misery. Much like the Colosseum, much like Colosseum fights. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess people watch Colosseum fights because it's not because they hate the people fighting. Although, I guess sometimes it may have been. It just comes with the territory of Twitch. Is like at some point you're gonna laugh at the streamer. It just so happens that I have, like, a somewhat visceral reaction. <laughs> That's all. I can't help it. It's not every game that does it to me. But this is one of those games that, that definitely causes that to happen. Should get the moon so then it heals me up. There we go. Ah, 
Ah, here you are. Okay, let's go. Hey, no! What the ha 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 ha? Stop! Give me... But also when, you know, I win, that can also make strange and funny sounds, so it's like... I think what you're rooting for really is for me to suffer to the point where, like, I don't give up yet and then eventually win, so then it's like the best of both worlds, it's... You get those visceral reactions on either end. Three more. Please get the bubble. Thank you. There's definitely something here. I just need a map that indicates what is here. It appears that there's... Oh yeah, no, I've been in that abyss. I think I'm, I'm tired because when I said three more, it just made me laugh. And the last time that happened was when I was very tired playing Pokemon and <laughs> just, I can't even remember why I said three more, but it just reminded me of like, just the whole Aurora Borealis thing. Because three more rhymes with Seymour, so it's like, three more, the house is on fire. No, mother, it's just the northern lights. Here's sparkles. That's just uh, yellow goombas. That one's still not done. Talk to the bird and see what's left. Although, under a dangerous ceiling. I mean, okay, I, I'm, I'm pretty much there. There's a couple that's gonna get revealed just from the seed. Oh, well, that's a shame that it talked about that one. Ocean bottom maze hidden room. Oh. Okay, that one. Some definitely action. 
So there was a hidden room. Damn, I should have gone into that corner. Well, I, at least I know where this one is. Firewatch is on sale for 195 if anyone's interested. Well, Bureau. What's his Firewatch? I bet that's where the final three coins are. Where are those pipes? Adventure mystery story game. Okay. I have not heard of it. Oh, yeah. Alright, so the one I haven't gone in is this one. Also, what is this? Ah. Uh. Is it this? Uh, oh, I was gonna say, did I screw myself over? <laughs> I mean, okay, if this has a hidden room, let's see. Assuming it's even this, underwater maze, I just have to resolve what that is. Oh, I know what it is. I can, I, I know what it is already. this. And you go... Alright, cool. Should have known. So... Okay, so the other three coins were not there. Gotta be like some sub area I've missed or something. What's the what the waves left left behind? Sorry. Flowers need water to grow. Oh. Wait. If I just can I speed this up? being lazy here. I think I'm being lazy here. <laughs> I 
There we go. Restored. I don't think this is having any effect. Oh no, it is, it is. You can see it. Wow, that was instant. Okay, that one just took longer. No, that other one was just slow, that's all. Like, I had a lot to go. Excuse me for thinking it, I had no effect on it. What if it was like a cactus kind of plant, huh? Like, putting too much water can also kill a plant. I should know, because I accidentally um, let a cactus drown once. <laughs> that's effectively what happened to it. The other one's like what the beach tide brought in, I guess. Let's, let's go around the coast and see if there's anything that stands out. Can't say I see anything. What the tide brought in. I hear a sparkle. Go back in. Otherwise, I mean, I'm good to go on. I don't have to get everything right away. It's amazing how you just played this game and you remember so little of it. It's okay. These things, they happen. Sorry, Toad. Oh. Hang on. Let me move you somewhere out of the way. That's better. I do hear something here. I just don't want to lose this, that's why I'm like... being careful. Ah. Oh. Alright, well now I can... I definitely hear sparkles. You heard it? What's in that butthole? I'm pretty sure that's where those spiky <laughs> those balls come out of. 
I know, I'm laughing. Uh, I'm laughing at, at balls coming out of a hole. Uh, I'm, I'm an adult, I promise. I don't know if I'm remembering correctly, but I feel like maybe there was something to do here, but I might be wrong. I'm not sure what it's referring to, to like under or something that's about to collapse. It might be this thing over here. It just says something unstable, so I'm not sure what it's referring to. Oh, the sparkles in the soundtrack. Oh. You know what it might be? Something else might be making the noise. Well, that's just annoying. Here I'm thinking, oh, I'm, I'm finding the secrets. I'm still missing three coins as well. Yeah, it might be the soundtrack doing that, now that I hear it. Well. They sure got me. I think it's time to leave this kingdom. I'd say I've gotten as much as I can without like running around in circles over and over again. I think I've done a good job. Three coins somewhere. It's either going to be a sub area or just somewhere sneaky. But I think we're good to move on. Definitely going down there, right? Yeah, there's a moon down there. Was I ever a Sonic fan? No, I never, I never played it. The only exposure to Sonic I had were the cartoon shows that were on. Other than that, uh, I've never played the games properly, really. The only one I did play was recently with the Master System game. Seems like 
a large franchise for a game you never hear anyone talk about. Oh, people talk about that game. It has a pretty... Pretty big fan base. And a very loyal one at that. It just depends what circles you're in, you know? Okay. There we go. That's that one acquired. Bob Tails was cute. Yeah, I never, never really remember Tails much. That's the extent of your knowledge. Oh, and the movies as well. Like, I think I've just experienced Sonic more through just TV and movies. More than games. I mean, I'll play the games at some point. It's like, they, they get requested. That's why I went with the, the Master System version of the game. To see how it went, and... You know, I'm gonna embar embarrass myself playing that, those games, because I'm not gonna be good at them. <laughs> because they're plat platforming games, it's like... It makes me feel like I should be good at them from the get-go, because I'm alright at 2D Mario. You know? So I just have that same reaction where it's like, I feel like I should be doing better. Okay, I think we're done here. Time to leave. your asset pl platformers, do you, do you feel like your inner child is annoyed at you when you do badly in them? It's okay to be bad at games <laughs> as long as you're having fun. There's no prerequisite to be good. I mean, you've probably seen me do embarrassing shit over the years, and it's just like, I, I laugh at it still. Your inner child dies every time you try a card. Oh, right. Cause that's where you got your name, right? Like it was from the COD days when you played. I don't know. I've just seen some footage of some of the newer shooter games that have come out, and just the whole thing where they have celebrities having packs in the game. It's just what. Like, I saw my younger cousin playing one of them. I don't know which one it was, but it had, like, Snoop Dogg and Nicki Minaj in it, and it's effectively like a Call of Duty game. It's like, what is this? What has this become? <laughs> it's just... it's not for me. Though I haven't bought one of those games in a very long time. But I know that those games are no longer designed for people like me. I feel like I'm dressed poorly for this. This is like how it would be like if I actually went to a place that had a real winter. You 
miss how simple shooters are. Now it's like each weapon has 100, 1116 different customization choice and one actually works. Yeah. Now on the topic of shooters, one game that I've been itching to play that I that has come back into my memory recently, but I'd only play it in the multiplayer sense, um, Serious Sam. It's like an older shooter, but it got remade and it's just, it's so much fun, that game. It's in the realm of, like, those games that are, like, Quake and that sort of thing. But the whole premise of that game is just absurd, and some of the enemies are really memorable. Serious, Serious Sam is a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, it is. When I was in university, I had like a group of six people playing that, and we'd be up late at night and then have to go to university the next day, all tired, but it was such a blast playing that game. But that's the kind of game where it's like, it shines through multiplayer. It, it's just, that's the kind of game it's designed to be. You want to try Doom Eternal? I've heard the new Dooms are pretty good. Like they're pretty faithful to what the uh, the old school ones represented. What I've heard is um, the Quake remake is also very good. They've had like a remaster remake, whatever it is, recently, and it's supposed to be very good. I've never played Quake. Just one of those games that um, my PC was just never capable of running stuff like that, so I never experienced those kind of games. I haven't played Doom either. You hear sleigh bells. Oh, these things. These things remind me of the Anuki. <laughs> Serious Sam, what a throwback. The recent Tish attempts to make a new Serious Sam were not great. Now, I heard that um, Serious Sam 3 or 4, I can't remember. Like, the new ones are bad, but the remasters of 1 and 2 are supposedly still good. You know, it's just 1 and 2. So when I talk about Serious Sam, I want to play, like, the first two. Because those are the ones I have the nostalgia for. But, you know, that game, you have to play it in a group. There's, you can't play it by yourself. So that's why I haven't. But it comes to mind every now and then. You know, this is the most confusing thing for me, is, like, the soundtrack to this game. Or this, well, kingdom, I should say, sorry. I don't think it fits... It just really looks like it's... It's not a snow village sort of theme. For some parts of it, I don't know. Did I ever play Unreal Unreal Tournament? No, that's the thing, like... There's a lot of games from that era, that the golden era of shooters, right? That I just never played. My first shooter game that I played was Modern Warfare 1. Like, the original Modern Warfare 1. And, uh... That was the first PC, well, modern PC game that I bought. That's how much of uh, a gap there is in my PC gaming. I just didn't have a good enough computer. It's just like how I missed Diablo and Diablo 2. I didn't play Diablo 2 until Resurrected. Like, my first action RPG was Titan Quest. Another great game, by the way.
Hold on, I messed up. I need, I need them. I need the Goomba Tower. Didn't actually play Quake or Unreal till way later for some reason, or for the same reason. The first shooter was GoldenEye 64. Actually, now that you say that, mine was too, but I didn't own it. Like, I had a friend that I'd go over to his house and we'd play Nintendo 64. Oh! I should have skewered that Goomba. Um, but I mean, yeah, it was Modern Warfare 1, and then we would play custom maps on Halo 1, which was a lot of fun as well. There were nights where we would... I, oh, there's like the map where it's a snow map and there's a bridge. And we would play this thing called Car Wars, and all it was was you'd get in the Warthog, you know, each team was in a Warthog, and you'd just sort of almost like jousting, right? You just drive the car at max speed, and then you try and collide in the bridge, and then until one team gets knocked off the edge, there's no victor. It's pretty fun. Wasted so many hours doing that. Hmm. Let's just keep going with them. Yeah. There's, there's a list of games that I would like to play, but it's just... They all require multiplayer to get the most out of them. Not, not be hasty with this yet. There we go. Hello, one has core formative memories like that for you too. Yeah, I feel like everyone would have done that at some point. But definitely good memories. I guess the thing for me is I just don't, don't, don't really have many many friends in Australia that still play games, at least at the time that I do. Or would be wanting to, like, play the game and be on stream. It's like, you know. That's kind of the problem. I think I've already done it then. It just said four Goombas. I guess I don't need to continue with them. I'm just making sure. Oh, they just evaporated. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I still own Serious Sam on Steam. I just can't remember which one. Because I had a pack once, and I remember buying it. I'm just not sure if it was... Even if it's still the old one, it doesn't matter.
this is creepy. <laughs> this, this right here is creepy. Can't blow that out. Guess not. Hmm. What would I do to get? Oh, no, I know. Walked in on your roommate playing one of the shit newer ones at one point. Like 23 of her doesn't know the nostalgia bomb I hit you with. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That's one of those games where I'd go to bed and s still hear the gameplay and dream about the gameplay. Particularly with the kamikazes, man. You'd go to bed and still hear it. Just the yelling in the distance of the kamikaze. I wonder if this has, like, a, a sub-moon. Maybe for taking all them out? I took them all out. It's good that they block the barriers that you've been through already. I'm trying to think of other games that, like, at least a player that would be worth revisiting. Some of the other point-and-click games, like um, Monkey Island, I really like that game. But it's been a while. I didn't have to do that, but I gotta check. Flash games take up a big chunk of your early gaming memories. Yeah. That's why I, I miss Flash. That's just because it's... A lot of people just made games in random animations, and the random animations are still around. It's just the whole thing of people being able to make just random things. I miss that. And sometimes if they were crappy, that, that made them better. You had a flash animation class in the middle school? Lucky. I wish I had that. Oh, crap. Crap. Oh well. I did work with some some friends in uni to make like it was for a project we did just 
messing around with game dev in Flash. So, though I didn't make the game myself, I did, like, make some graphics and music for it. And though those music loops were, like, kind of crappy, <laughs> I was proud of them at the time. I was like, damn, I didn't know I could make music. Wouldn't be able to do that nowadays. Yuck, yuck, yuck. We got the frosted, frost, frost frosted cake. The boss man sure is fussy about cake. Reckon we got him the best one though. All you remember is they were trying to get you to animate a piece of toast announcing the news. And today animating a stick man. Hearing shit. Trying to ride a watermelon down a half pipe. <laughs> oh, eating a watermelon. Pretty funny. I did voices for a bunch of flash animations. Probably wouldn't be able to find them though. I don't think I have copies of them. Just helped friends out though. I had a, a few friends that. <laughs> Instead of using their own voice, they'd be like, Hey, Will, can you do can you do this for me? Can you record you saying this? I, I want your voice instead of mine. I don't like my voice. Like, Alright. It helped one of my friends big time. Like, he had a presentation, and it was like an animation that he was supposed to record like a voiceover for. So he got me to do the voiceover for it, because... He figured I was better for it. But I was talking about him, it was kind of funny. Yahoo! I wish I still had copies of it. I might have, like, my old sound loop stuff on a drive somewhere, but... Some of that other stuff, I just sent the files and then eventually they showed me it, and I guess I probably don't have them. Oh, hello. Why is it so many people hate the sound of their voice? You're one of them, but you don't know what that is. For me, it was a thing because when I was a kid, people made fun of my voice. And then suddenly, as a teenager, it just became a, like, oh, I really like the sound of your voice. And I was like, really? Where the fuck was that shit, like, five years ago? Admittedly, though, it was probably because I spoke different as a kid, but it doesn't matter, like... Just, when you hear it enough times... That's, that's my reasoning. It wasn't something that, you know, came out of nowhere. Dude. Wait, I can't grab it. That not a ledge to grab? I thought that was a ledge to grab. I thought that was a ledge to grab. Yahoo! That looked like it was a ledge to grab. Oh, this thing. Oh, boy.
Yeah, there we go. I was right. I can't rotate the camera anymore. Just trying to see if I miss purple coins or something. To me, all right. Oh, boy. Hold on, cat tomato. This is amusing. On the, you take control of one of them. I can't remember which one. I'm gonna bully them. Oh, one race there. That's here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't be able to tell you, like, why people don't like their own voice. I don't think it's everyone. I, I just, it's definitely like a large sub subset of it, but maybe it just comes from a place where maybe you've heard at some point in your life that people don't like the sound of your voice or something. Or like, they say that you speak with an accent. That's also another place it comes from. I mean, that's the thing. It's, an accent is relative as, like... You're gonna sound like you have an accent to someone. Hello? Race, I don't want to. The others are too serious. I don't stand a chance. If someone else wanted to race, they'd be welcome to take my place. You know that animation I showed of Mario possessing someone? This is this is what I think of as just this. We Okay. Here we go. I remember this one takes a while. I do like that it offers you training. Okay. Here we go. Welcome to the Grand Prix.
Okay, I've got this. This is only the first lap, but, you know, it's looking good. He says as he goes back to third. I do like that it does like a Mario Kart thing to it. Hey, look at that. That last lap. What a race, you were like a supersonic snowman. The prize is a multi-moon. I like how it just can't stand still. Can't walk normally, it has to be just like a, a stumble. Okay, but now I can freely explore as this thing. This looks correct. Don't go any higher. not yeah I don't know how to get up there <laughs> there's probably a way oh no trace walking but like with ice Oh, this one's bad. Actually, it's not as bad as I thought it would. All right, cool. <laughs> Best try. Could have sworn there were harder versions of this, but maybe I'm wrong. I thought for sure that the ice was going to make that so difficult. You know, I don't remember this game being very silent. Like, I thought music was constant here. can survive. Hey! I'm like perfectly jumping over it every time.
There we go. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot in the water, which I guess makes sense. I just figured probably worth grabbing, but doesn't look like there's a whole lot of incentive to do it. Wait, have I already got what? I've already got almost all the currency. That was quick. Okay, no, there is a reason to grab it to get this. easy. This must not be a very long kingdom then. If I'm truly this close to already being done. Oh, there's a seed somewhere. I just realized what this is, what this is, what this is. I just realized what this is. <laughs> I tried to do the complicated way. It's this. Oh, I keep going. I guess if I want to break out of there, I can, but I'm good. Oh, did it reset the... It may have reset... No, it didn't. Okay. I thought it might have reset the fragments. Oh, but like, it screwed me over. Jeez. Oh, what the hell? You actually have to shake, otherwise it doesn't work. <laughs> I 
Is that another one? Oh, but this is a door. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, oh, I see. Ooh, that is... I guess just have to trust that I'm gonna make it. Oh my god. Give health, please. Select. Oh, Jimba, please. Oh, I'm cutting it close. Everything is fine. Is there a second moon here? I would think. Is this, a, is this a terrible idea? I feel like I should go back. Like, I know this is just asking for trouble, but... Generally speaking, these have two moons. So, I just want to make sure I have a good look. Man. Not much wiggle room on that one. I don't think I missed anything. Ow. Oh, maybe. Hang on. Maybe this. Yeah, there we go. Thought so. concussion. Okay, well that's the the was the knot. Nice try. Alright. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, this is, uh... But I guess I have to be... Curious if this has, like, an ultimate moon. I don't think it does. Done this sort of stuff plenty of times in the past. Just gotta employ the galaxy brain. have to be exact like I feel like I could just put it here no I wonder if you get a reward for putting it oh no okay it has to be exact my bad I wasn't aware that was glass I thought it was water okay still I'm close simpler than I thought it was. Got one more to go. Uh, I know where the seed is, so I'm gonna go get it. this music. And yes, I'm gonna be greedy. This is just happy music for me. I was going to go down there.
Yay. All right, cool. So where's this last moon fragment? I'm just missing one. I feel like I've been everywhere, but there's probably a small spot I'm overlooking. Hmm. There it is. I see it. Okay, there's also this. Hey. Take the bait. It's just, <laughs> it's just rotating around it. There is big fish. Come here. Get the bait. It's possible Toad could be here as well. Doesn't look like it. Oh, the rabbit's here. Okay, we can get that in a minute. Oh, wow, that was easy. <laughs> How's like instant? Two more. Got to be a minor place. I think it's over there. It's on the way. Oh, it's tired. Never mind. I just want to make sure I've done, like, a good perimeter check. Hmm. This seems odd. Oh, 
Oh, there they are. Okay, I see them. That's also another door I haven't been through. So far, so good. I missed. No, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. You can keep going. There's like a round two to it. I mean, given the first try, not bad. Alright, we're going higher. I'm surprised I did that. That was actually going really well. I had, I had only missed one, like, I, I was doing super well. Beautiful. You got anything to say? Getting hit was a good job. You really are something. That was fun. into the town again. Dressed appropriately. Greedy. 
doesn't want to share. Oh, the art. Treasure chest. Behind the ice, okay. I mean, there's still quite a bit to explore. Like, there's this, for example. stage. Does it have snow? Yes, it's ice. Ugh. Not too bad. Was this going around in a circle? Uh oh, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Oh! <laughs> That's what I get. Yeah, but okay, but like. I was right about there being a secret. still going. Forever doomed to just go around in a circle for the rest of eternity. What am I doing? That's not the way out. I have to make sure I'm not missing anything. Like, I know this is not necessary. save. I think this is a good stopping point for now. I just noticed the time. But there's how many left for this? I don't think there's a whole lot. Like, this is one of the smaller kingdoms, so. I think there's like a race and yeah, I've done most. So. Alright, next time I play this, I'll do the race one, because I think that one is unlocked now. It's just a tougher race. Anyway, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end, and hope you've been enjoying the playthrough of Super Mario Odyssey. If you want to support the channel over there, the easiest way to do so is just click the like button, or watch me play other things by clicking one of the videos that pop up. Either way, it does help out a lot, so thanks to those that do do that. I do appreciate it. But, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye, YouTube.